Afterburner was made in 1987 by Sega AM2 for the arcades followed by Afterburner 2 in the same year. While the original Afterburner initially was solely ported to the Sega Master System, Afterburner 2 was ported to a variety of systems but often was falsely labeled as Afterburner. This is also the case with the 1987 port for the Takara Video Challenger. This port is notable for being the first ever home port of the game, even beating the Master System port of the predecessor. As most popular media gets this wrong, for completeness I want to point out that in 2003 a second port of the original Afterburner was made for the Game Boy Advance. The video you are going to see is recorded from the original VHS tape transmitted to my capture card via YPBPR. As such, the video might be the highest quality version of the footage in the whole internet. Please remember that video on VHS is stored in an S-video-like fashion but with much more compression using a color on the technique. As such, the video quality is not very high. The game has no story to speak of. A fighter jet lifts off an air carrier and fights various airplanes in a variety of stages and is refueled from time to time. After a while, the jet flies back to the air carrier and the game ends. The gameplay is simple. The player shoots at target squares and avoids aiming at the screen while hostile objects are flashing. Basically, the game is a cut together playthrough of the arcade game. However, it's not a mere screen capture but a custom recording as the iconic F-14 Tomcat-like jet isn't seen from behind most of the time. While most content of the arcade game is shown, the video challenger port is not complete and the stages don't appear in the correct order. Used are stages 1 to 3 and then 10 to 11, but then the game goes back to stage 9 and then to 6. The game then continues with stages 13 to 15, then 18 to 20 and concludes with stages 22 and 23. Some portions where the jet is replenished with fuel remain intact. The original arcade game ran on the third generation superscalar board, simply called Sega X board. For its time this arcade board was very impressive with its beautiful graphics, sprite rotation and especially with the mesmerizing scaling. To have such fidelity on the home screen as far back as 1987, albeit with much stripped down interactivity, still must have been a great joy. Personally I like the game. I think porting an on-rail shooter as video challenger game is a good choice. The scenery of the game changes quite a lot over time, which kept the game from getting dull to me. Of course, the iconic music and the amazing arcade graphics remain intact. I think it's funny to play an FMV game, which purely consists of footage recorded of a regular video game. I suppose this is one of the least FMV looking FMV games of all time. I think the cover looks nice, albeit a bit pixelated. It does a good job showing what the game is about. This is the end of the review. My name is Ben, I thank you for viewing.